And we're here with Christy and Cyrus. How you doing? Um, I'm doing pretty good. How about you, man? Good, good. And you're 16 years old. Um, that's correct. Okay. How long have you been interested in music? I, I think I've been interested in music all my life, if I'm being honest. It wasn't until more recently that I started getting into it. Okay. Well, recently, how like how long ago? Like 14, 15, 13? Like, I mean, back when I was like 15 and around 2017. Okay. And w w it's predominantly rock music or anything else? or it, To me, it's all genres. Okay. It's everything. So... And uh, he, uh, he, he, could, he has really vast knowledge um, that he's learned. Like, you could throw him a year and he could tell you what was a hit. Okay. So, like, throw him a year. Okay, give me, uh, like, any year? Um, I guess from the 90s on up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who was number one on Billboard in 1992? In 1992? Yeah. Um, I don't know about Billboard on um, number one in 1992, but I did know that that MC Hammer did have a hit song for the Adams Family. Right. Right. And, um, 2004... Okay. Um, I know that Hey Ya and The Way You Move were big hits. Um, I also know that Kuba Stink made, made The Reason and Evanescence made My Immortal. Uh-huh. That's pretty awesome. So, so basically you're just covering all genres. What did you do as a, what did you do when you were younger? You would, would you look at magazines or would you read stuff? I just. I, I just listened to whatever music was thrown at me on the radio at the time, and I mostly did enjoy it. Right. And you basically listened to everything that they were saying. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pretty much. Almost like memorization, in a way. So you, you learn by auditory. Exactly. Yeah. That's how I learned, too. So I understand. <laughs> so... And it, it, you seem to pick up on it really quick. If you, you, but you have to have that focus on it. So you seem to be focused on just about on it and what you're listening to. So you'd probably be good at memorizing song lyrics too. Uh -huh. So, yeah, it's awesome. That's neat, man. Um, so you have a show that a local musician, Jim Nobles, asked you to be a part of. You were a part of. The Rock and Hope Show. Oh, uh, yes, sir. In, what, 2016? I think uh, two years ago? No, I'm sorry. It's 2017. It was 2017. Okay. What did you do in 2017? Uh, for the most part, 2017, uh, I didn't have that much credits besides, besides a few things at my old school where I had to look up the lyrics and sing along to it. Okay. And it, 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 it's me. I did like the rock folk performance, even if I was trying to emulate Kermit instead of doing my own thing. Okay. I want to make this one connection to be the best one I can do. This one this year. Yes. Okay. So, basically, you've gotten your stage fright out of the way. Um. Yes, sir. Okay. You. You. Okay. So. You were on stage in 17, and now you're coming back in 19. Octo is it October 26th? Um, yes, sir. Okay. That's a Friday or a Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. So October 26th, where will you be? I'll be at the Arneville um, Halloween Festival. It's the Art and Nature Festival. Art and Nature mm -hmm. Festival. So the Arneville Art and Nature Festival in Saturday, October 26th. Yes, sir. So, and you're going to play with what band? Uh, the Jim Knowles Experience. The uh, Mentally Ill Billies. Okay. Huh? Mentally Ill Billies. Oh, the mental, the mentally ill Billies. Yes. Okay. That which are you? Are you going to sing like they do in 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 a bluegrass style? I'm going to sing my own style. Okay. They're going to have the bluegrass music playing. Okay, and you're going to come in as as a vocalist. What songs? Uh, Chasing Cars and Rainbow Connection. Okay. And, I mean, bluegrass 
to rock is already different enough to you know to to bring what you're doing is completely different as well so that'll be interesting you know is it is it how how much do you enjoy doing this uh, i enjoy it a lot i think it's really interesting to do okay but when you're on stage the first time you were on stage it, how, how did that feel uh it's a little bit overwhelming at the time right so, have you practiced in your in your room or? In the um. Yes. Sir. Okay. So you're ready. Um. Yes, I am. Okay. And we just need a few more practices, and then we're good to go. Okay. And Chris, Christy, your mother is actually on the phone as well. So, tell us what you think about this experience. I'm just grateful for it. I'm grateful for Jim um, for everything that Jim does for everyone in the autism community and everything he does for my son and his daughter and right. um, like I'm just like my son pretty much inspires me every day and I got to sit down and practice with him Sunday and I had to keep looking away because I was crying because it was just, it sounded so good yeah and it was, it was just something that I'm really happy for him to have this opportunity, and he's happy about it. Okay. Gives him something to look forward to. Yeah. It sounds fun. It sounds And uh, one of his first words was actually rock and roll, so I was about to bring that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he called me Nana forever. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't speak until he was four, really. Like, he would say things here and there. And I was called Nana, so his first word was Mama, and then it was Rock and Roll. So, wow. yep. Yeah, now he's uh, very Mama. I'm ready to rock and roll. Right, exactly. Much. <laughs> that sounds great, man. Um, well, I I want to say thanks for taking the time to talk to us about this. We're gonna let people know about this and awesome. try to get people involved a little bit more because that to me this is something people hear the story and it makes them want to support it even more. Uh Um, And I I know I've been to at least three of the rock and hope shows and uh, is it, it, it's, it's a festival, so it's not a rock and hope show. Yeah. And Cyrus has come so far from his diagnosis and he's just incredibly inspiring. Yeah. I mean, I mean, so you, you have, all, I mean, what, what diagnosis of what? To, to let people um, kind of know. When he was diagnosed at three, it was autism uh-huh. spectrum. And they said you could go to a child psychiatrist, I was just like, um, tell you what level you are on the spectrum or we could put you in OT and speech now and start fixing it. So, of course, I opted to fix it. Um, we did not do the medications that they suggested because I didn't know enough about it and he was nonverbal. Now his last IEP said slight developmental delay with Asperger traits. With slight Asperger traits. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Sounds like you need to keep listening to music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so as far as I'm concerned, you sound pretty normal to me, man. Yeah, music heals. Yeah, it it absolutely does. I agree. Um. So I think it needs to keep on doing that. You know? Thank you. Absolutely. And I, to me, I couldn't have, I, you, there's no way I would have been able to even know that, you know? Right. So, uh, so I wish you nothing but luck on the 26th and hopefully you have a hundred people standing in front of you ready to rock and roll. I hope so as well. <laughs> awesome. Well, hopefully we can help with that. Thank you all very much. Thank you.